Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to shoot a really quick video to show you uh, two really cool camera stabilizer rigs that I uh, made out of PVC pipe. One of them is this one, which is based off of a camera stabilizer rig by the Frugal Filmmaker on YouTube. And then I've got another one that was made by uh, another YouTube user called Noctop, and he actually shows you how to make um, this design specifically. The cool thing about it is that um, I noticed if you're just carrying a camera around, especially if you're carrying around a DSLR camera, it's it, not very stable. Like You get a lot of shaky video when you're walking around, and if you're holding it uh, for a long period of time, it can get kind of tiring like this. I was actually hired to shoot at a party, and I realized that after a couple hours of standing there holding the camera like this, trying to videotape, it became a pain in the ass. My arms started to hurt. And it's a lot easier if you have uh, just a, a better rig that kind of stabilizes the camera, gives you a better center of gravity with it. So I wanted to show you a really quick way of how you can attach uh, these the cameras over to the, the rig. Um, all the cameras that I have, and pretty much, I'm pretty sure every single camera is the same. Uh, they have this hole on the bottom of them. That hole on the bottom of the camera is actually uh, made for a one fourth 20 thread screw. So any one will work. I actually ended up picking up this one from Home Depot, and I got a washer on here, uh, as well as the nut to go along with it. And basically, all you do is I put it through, I drilled a hole through here. You can go to the tutorials and uh, then you can view exactly how to make this. I'm not going to show the tutorial on here because I think those guys deserve that you go to their page and give them uh, the views on the tutorial or how to make it uh, since I got the idea from them. So once you have the screw on there, what, I, what you do is you just screw it onto the camera. And there's the bolt here, usually I, I tighten that up as well. And what you do is then you have an actual rig that you can use to hold the camera, like this. And then the other rig, uh, it's basically the same thing. I've got a piece here with a, with a screw on it. Then you can hold the camera, position it where you want and makes it really easy for shooting. And another cool thing about this rig specifically is that it's got a top handle. And you can hold it from the top and basically shoot that way. Now, I don't have the bolts tighten as tight as it should be on here, but um, it tightens really well. Like once you have it tight, the camera really doesn't move much. So it really just depends on how you fasten it. And you know, I've been able to throw this thing around while shooting and never had any issues of it. This is actually a Rebel Kiss, but the camera that I'm shooting with is my 60D. So that's the one that I mainly use for these rigs because it's a bit more of a heavier camera. So it just makes it a lot easier to shoot with that. This one I don't think I would really have any problem shooting with because um, it's so light, but this one doesn't shoot video. This one only does uh, pictures. So. For stills, it makes sense to just sit there and snap shots with the actual camera, but uh, when you're shooting video, it makes it a lot easier and a lot better for you to use one of these stabilizer rigs because you won't get all that shakiness from your hand. So uh, go to their pages. I'll put their links up here and probably up here on this end. Uh, just go to their page, check out their tutorials. Uh, it'll save you a lot of money. If you go and look at some of the rigs online, the professional grade ones, you're going to find them for around $200, $300, uh, sometimes even more depending on the rig that you want. So I found that there's a lot of really cool uh, tutorials out there on how to make your own camera rigs out of PVC pipe. And it makes sense. I mean, it's not that much different from what you would get in a professional grade one. And you're going to save hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, you know, for, and of course, you know, you can customize it too. I mean, this one here... Uh, isn't exactly to the specs of the Frugal Filmmaker has on his site or on his video because 
my camera size is a little bit different than, than what he had and I decided you know I was going to make my own size uh, rig and then I also have uh, these two holes in the front because I'm going to be installing lights in there and that way I can just uh, put a button in the back and when I hit the button here it'll turn the light on and off. The other cool thing with the shoulder rig is um, you know they say that you should glue it all together and most of the pieces make sense if you glue it. I actually put uh, hockey tape around um, to make it black or you can spray paint it. It gives you a better grip on it as well. Um, but a, a, one thing that I noticed is I left it loose, right? I, I didn't glue these parts together. The, the main uh, parts of it, like this this part, uh, this part here that you connect the camera to, I didn't connect that. Um, and then this part here disconnects. And the reason why I did that is because I saw other tutorials online that have uh, this part of it. And then uh, this, the rest of it actually changes. So what I thought is I can use the back piece instead of having to make uh, a secondary one, you know, and, and use more of the pipe. I could just use this piece and just attach the other part to it. So one of the ones that I thought was really cool has uh, two pipes. It's kind of like that, and you put the camera on it and it slides back and forth. So that way, when you're shooting, you you can actually push the camera forward and back. So it's kind of cool. I don't know. Um, I figured I'd show you guys since uh, some of you were asking about it and asking how I made it. So definitely check out their pages, uh, go, go look at their tutorials, and you'll see exactly how to do it yourself. If you guys have any questions of anything else that these can be used for, or maybe uh, other things that can be attached to it and other ways to make it, I've seen uh, different uh, holders for microphones, for lights, all sorts of stuff. Um, just get creative. I guess you can just leave it in the comments below. And um, see you guys later.